And there are still ways to make those weekend plans while we stay at home or we follow those social distancing guidelines. Time Out LA has transitioned to time in for now. And joining me again, editor Michael Giuliano. Good morning to you, Michael. Good morning. Thanks for having me again. OK. Oh, good to have you. And first up, this online charity bake sale that's happening. Tell me about that. Yeah, this is called Pies for Justice. Uh, this is a Juneteenth charity bake sale, as you alluded to. Um, and all the proceeds from this bake sale will go to both the LA chapter of Black Lives Matter, as well as Gathering for Justice. Um, and, you know, both these are organizations committed to uh, fighting racial inequality, unjust incarceration, police brutality. Um, but to kind of explain what this event is, uh, over 60 LA bakeries and restaurants are all participating in this bake sale. Um, and if you go to the Pies for Justice site starting uh, today at 9 a.m., um, you'll find all of them available. Uh, these are from spots like Huckleberry, Valerie Confections, The Rose, Rustic Canyon, AOC, like so many amazing restaurants. Um, and you put your order in today and then they'll be available for pickup tomorrow. Um, it varies from vendor to vendor, you know, but yeah, this, this is spots from the west side to the east side, Valley, South LA. Uh, it's a great way to have something sweet and do some good at the same time. Exactly. Everyone can get behind a good pie, too. All right. Another <laughs> we have another street food cinema drive in that's happening. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about this. Uh, some people might be familiar with street food cinema. It's, you know, every summer they're one of the outdoor screening series that pops up in L.A. that we love so much. And uh, they're not going away this summer. They're just changing a little bit. Uh, so they're flipping into a drive in movie series. Um, with both free screenings at Ontario International Airport, which is kind of neat, uh, as well as paid ones at the Brandeis Barton campus in Simi Valley. Uh, you know, those will cost you a little bit. I think it's uh, $20 per car and then $8 per additional person. Uh, but these screenings kick off this weekend. Um, today, there's one in Ontario for Ford vs. Ferrari. That one is unfortunately sold out because it's the free one, so of course. Uh, but you can still get tickets to the paid ones, uh, which this weekend is... 500 Days of Summer and Mrs. Doubtfire, both of those in Simi Valley. Um, you know, that might be a little far for some people. Uh, the good news is that come, I believe they've said mid-July, they're hoping to add some LA screenings. Um, and just, you know, in general, a couple ground rules to know. You'll need to stay in your car, uh, you'll need to wear a mask, and you have to leave an open space between you and the car next to you. Um, but you can also bring your own food, which is good, though they will have food trucks there. Uh, kind of keeping in the spirit with street food cinema, you know, during normal summers. Uh, those are two of my favorite movies. Okay, so the Huntington Gardens just reopened to members and they're going to open to the public July 1st, but now we're talking about the Peterson Automotive Museum reopening. Yeah, it's just in time for Father's Day weekend, uh, which I'm sure will make a lot of dads happy. And yeah, you know, in, in a lot of ways, they're kind of picking up right where they left off. Um, so starting this weekend, you can see again their exhibits on uh, like sci-fi cars from popular movies. Uh, they also have a collection of Metallica frontman James Hetfield's uh, old cars. Um, but, you know, like we we do need to stay safe. So there's a lot of different procedures. Uh, you'll, you'll need a timed reservation, first of all, and you have to pay for your tickets in advance. Uh, you'll need to wear a mask while you're there. The interactive exhibitions are closed. Um, and also when you enter, I think, I think this is kind of handy, um, they'll give you a free stylus uh, in order to like, push elevator buttons and doors and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, just to talk about other museums very briefly, it's this is kind of what you can expect from other museums as they start to open. Um, you know, uh, other places are talking about things like temperature checks, one way traffic, visitor logs. Um, and, you know, as you mentioned, some places have opened already. Uh, you can add the Aquarium of the Pacific to that list as well. Uh, some are opening soon, you know, Huntington's opening to the public July 1st. Uh, Hauser and Worth in the Arts District is as well. And, you know, some others like the Natural History Museum say that they're waiting, you know, they're going to wait until July. So expect a lot of news to roll out gradually when it comes to returning to museums. Yeah, I mean, hey, at least you're there in person and you're not having to do it virtually. So so that's something. Um, yeah. What else for Father's Day? You can do a little wine tasting. Yeah. So, of course, there's a lot of like steak specials and barbecue specials for Father's Day, uh, but this one stuck out to me as a lot of fun. It is a father's wine splaining tasting from Vinavor. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, Vinavor is a wine shop in Silver Lake, 
uh, with a particular focus on female winemakers. And so for Father's Day, they've put together this wine splaining course. Um, you know, it, it's Sunday afternoon, but if you can put your order in now for the wines, and basically you can pick up. You know, they're they're focusing on a pair of Austrian natural wines, and you can pick up one or both. Or there's a special package for I think it's forty five dollars, uh, where you get the two wines in this cute little box that says "coolest dad ever." Um, and so then on Sunday, your dad can drink wine and tune into a virtual tasting class where, you, where you'll learn, you know, how to properly taste wine and all about how it's made. Uh, and, you know, similar to some of the other events we've been talking about, this is also an event for a good cause. Uh, so all the proceeds will benefit the L.A. chapter of Black Lives Matter. Oh, wow. Yeah. All tying in to what is happening with these current events. And hey, you can do that as you're barbecuing for dad as well. So totally, Michael, totally. Uh, great ideas and suggestions. Where can we find all of this? Yeah, if you just head to timeout.com slash LA, we'll have more info on all of these and a bunch of other events this weekend.